Okay, are you ready? Let's go. We are about to get into an enclosure with the common marmoset. All right, I'll go first. You can't see them, they're hiding in the leaves. No sudden movements. Oh, Mark, it's on your leg. Today, the crew and I are visiting a wildlife sanctuary called Kids Saving the Rainforest. This location is home to many rescued animals that are being rehabilitated so that they can ultimately be released back into the wild. However, there is one resident species that cannot be released because it's native to the jungles of Brazil. But that wasn't going to stop me or the crew from getting the cameras up close. Get ready to meet the marmoset. Oh, I see one. And we are locked in. There they are. That's the common marmoset. One of the smallest new world monkey species in the world. Hello there. How are you? Only thing smaller than this is the pygmy marmoset. The goal here is gonna be to have them get comfortable enough to actually walk on my shoulders and on my hands. And hopefully I'm not bitten because they have a very impressive set of chompers. The mouth almost looks like the mouth of a piranha. Their teeth are all rah, sprawled out everywhere. And the teeth are, oh, here we go. Got one coming right here. The teeth are very important for this monkey because they actually use it. They're very specialized. They can dig into the bark of trees. And one of their favorite things to eat is tree sap. They love sweets. There you are. Watch this. I'm going to bring out the marshmallows. Okay. Secret treat. This is the secret treat. And I'm gonna just, to start, put my thumb out on this branch here and see if one will come close. Do you have a call that you use for these or? Yeah, I do. Watch this. Little marmoset, I got your marshmallows. Where did they go? I don't know. It's a little eerie in here knowing that they're hiding somewhere in the leaves. Hello. There's one down there. Nope, there's one right there by my foot. Oh my God. Yeah. What a stealth. Didn't even see it. Okay, look at this. Watch, watch, watch. Look. Oh, here he comes. Up here. Yes, 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 yes. The trust. Just building trust right now. Woo. Oh. Oh, I felt those teeth. Those teeth are definitely sharp. Look at that. Okay. Hi. How are you? That is a marmoset. Okay. Let me see if I can kind of crouch down. Oh, Mark, it's on your leg. See that? You've got a marmoset on you. Oh, he likes the camera. How about this camera? Why don't you focus on this camera? And this is what it looks like when the cameramen get closer to the animals than the host does. Hey, buddy. No sudden movements here. Let me see if I can get him onto my hand here. Hi, here we go. Oh, there we, there go. we go. There we go. Okay. Now it is on my shoulder. Oh boy. This is this is close. Okay. Just a little tiny piece. Mmm. Marshmallow. Okay. Yum, yum, there we yum, go. Yum, yum, yum. That's the good stuff, huh? Wow. Look at those front feet. The dexterity in those fingers and those wrists is incredible. Now, that makes them a little more primitive than some New World monkey species is the fact that they have claws and not fingernails. And look at the tufts on the side of the head. I see you. Can you hang out for just, oh, there you are, up on my shoulder. I love those tufts. You know what it makes them look like? Gizmo from the movie Gremlins. As long as we don't feed you after midnight, hopefully you won't turn into a gremlin. Look at that. Wouldn't it be awesome to just have one of these on your shoulder all the time. You can see because they're so cute, they're oftentimes found in the pet trade. Unfortunately though, this does not make a good pet. Hi. At one point in time, these marmosets were found roaming in the nearby rainforest. And because they are non-native species, specialists safely captured and brought them to the sanctuary where they will live a happy and healthy life. It is necessary for us to stay within the confines of their enclosure to ensure that they don't escape back into the wild where they would compete 
with the native wildlife. This is an arboreal species, and they are found high up in the trees where they are searching for their favorite food of berries and seeds. But like I said, they do specialize in eating tree sap. It has one grippy little tongue. Look at that face. Is the tongue rough or smooth? It's rough, just like a cat's tongue. And you can see why they would need a rough tongue to be able to lick up sap. It's a long tongue that this guy's got. They have long tails. They do. Their that, body. Now that tail is not prehensile which a lot of New World monkeys have a prehensile tail, which allows them to use it almost like a fifth hand where they can hang upside down from a tree branch. The tail of the marmoset is just used for balance when they're running around in the tree branches. And they don't even run. It's more kind of like this bouncing stride. Almost like a kangaroo rat. Yeah, where did my friend go? There we go. Ooh, look at that. Hi, how are you? Two little tiny shoulder buddies. Okay, I feel much more comfortable with the marmoset than I did the squirrel monkeys. Oh, 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 sorry. Oh, there. oh, you found my pocket, I see it. Well, how cool is this? Spending our afternoon hanging out with the common marmoset. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. If you thought the marmoset was cute, make sure to go back and watch me get up close with B-Rat, the world's most adorable baby sloth. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on our next location.